welcome to the channel. My name is Nathan. I'm getting ready for a competition here coming up soon, and I need to tune my rifle that I just built. We'll go through what it is here in a second. Today we got to tune the gas block, properly breaking the barrel like I like to do it. Other people do it different ways, and that's fine. And then if we have time, we're going to try to sight it in. So let's get started. This is the rifle we're working with today. It has a uh, Bravo Company KMR 15 inch handguard on it. The barrel is a Ballistic Advantage 18 inch barrel, mid length gas system with the VG6 556 muzzle brake on it. It has a Spikes Tactical gas block, or gas tube, sorry. The scope I'm running on here is the Vortex Strike Angle 1 to 8 with the Vortex cantilever. This is a Bravo Company upper, Bravo Company buttstock, Palmetto State Armory lower. Yeah, furniture is pretty much all Bravo Company and a white oak um, bolt carrier group. So I already cleaned the barrel, got all the factory grease out of it and everything. So what I like to do is about five rounds, one shot, clean it really good until it's coming out clean patches, there's nothing in there. Fire another round and just repeat the process for five rounds. So let's get started. I'm just using a five round mag today, just easier to load. Also going to be tuning the gas block at the same time as breaking in the barrel. extracted I'm gonna adjust the gas block uh, clean the gun and I'll be back with you okay so I'm back I turned the gas block way down because it was super high still I must have adjusted it wrong I cleaned the barrel with this Otis cleaning kit it's a cheap kit but it works great just got a cable some ending connections and some nice cleaning patches so we're ready for our second shot one round, a five round mag. Chamber. All right, let's see what happens. Wow, that was loud. Forgot to put my Air Pro on. That was a good idea. All right, I'm gonna check, see what happened, see if it had extracted, to tune the glass gas block to it, clean it again. This next time, I'll wear eye pro. I'll get with you in a second. Okay, we're back. Tune the gas block a little bit more. Got it cleaned up properly, as to my expectations, I suppose you could say. Ready for another round? I'm gonna do this round. Then I'm gonna finish up tuning it in and. Just in the gas block so you don't have to sit through the whole thing. This time I'm gonna remember my ear probe. Let's see. extracting again so we're gonna adjust the gas block I'm gonna take care of this you don't have to sit through the whole process and I'll get back with you when I'm done okay so I got it all cleaned up all five rounds through it it's all clean again tune the gas block a little bit more I'm happy with where it's at so I was shooting at a hundred yards while doing that none of the five rounds hit so I'm gonna move it to about 40 yards zero it in there and then move it back to a hundred and make sure everything's good and we'll slide it in and be done. Stand by. 
So there you have it guys. That's the right way to do the wrong thing. Or the wrong way to do the right thing, whichever way. Um, this gas block, I'm going to end up changing out. I think it's just not working for me in this particular build I did. Else everything else is functioning great. The gun's running well. The sights are working good. The trigger, which I forgot to say, is a rise armament trigger. Everything's working great. Bull carrier's functioning. But for 100 yards, I think I was shooting about one inch group on either side of the center, which is all right for this kind of wind. It's adjusting, the wind speed is adjusting so much and it's just hard to keep a perfect good shot. So I'll be out here again and I'll bring you with me. Have a good day. Okay, so I was headed home and I was thinking about it. And for the competitions, I usually use my Smith & Wesson M&P. I got a new barrel in it, competition barrel, competition trigger, new sights and all that. I'm having problems with it. It's only running on certain kind of ammo, but that certain kind of ammo is pretty expensive. But I can take my Glock 19X, which I love to shoot, shoots great for me, and have no problem with that at all. So, what's your all's opinion? Let me know what you think in the comments.